and Smith in happier times with their dogs Dina and Maggie in 2012. As you'll see in that photograph, Annie was able to live her life. She was able to go out with her chair um, and actually take her dogs for walk. But the dogs died three years ago and detectives say Ms Smith's health deteriorated significantly until her death in April. Weeks into a manslaughter investigation, officers now believe two fridges and a significant amount of jewellery are missing from Ms Smith's Kensington Park home. Annie had a passion for jewellery and used to go to the same um, city jeweller with her carer and buy jewellery for herself. Police say over a 10-year period, Ms Smith bought $35,000 worth of jewellery from the store. Some of the missing pieces are distinctive, including six custom-made gold hair clips. Our appeal would be to anybody who's seen anybody wearing those hair clips. Uh, you may have seen your neighbour wearing them. Uh, they may have been sold online. They may have been sold at a pawn shop. We don't know what's happened to them. Early in the investigation, police raided the Edwardstown offices of care provider Integrity Care and the Hectorville home of Ms Smith's carer. They've now raided more businesses in South Australia and interstate and seized company records. But there are some records they haven't been able to uncover. Of concern to us is we haven't been able to locate any health records to show that since 2015 she had seen a doctor, dentist, physio, or been prescribed any prescription drugs. Any medical professionals who had contact with Anne Smith in the last decade are now urged to contact police. Liam McLennan, ABC News, Adelaide.